Welcome to Mysteries, Myths, and Legends. I'm Taylor. I'm Savannah. And welcome to the show. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back. Yeah. Um We're we're back after a week of sorry. Um, doing other things. <laughs> sorry about it. Life's busy sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and especially back. especially since now it's like beginning of spring, like people are starting to do things again, including us. <laughs> yeah, big facts, mm-hmm. big facts. Um, but yeah, happy spring. I can't stop yes. freaking sneezing, but I am happy. No, I know. So yeah, the seasonal depression's definitely going away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just regular depression now. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we love that. Um. Yeah. So I'm actually missing though. So you're missing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I <laughs> maybe I started that sentence off wrong. <laughs> but uh I'm missing living around Aritas. I think I don't know if I said this last year too, but oh, like yeah. Rita's every year uh Rita's Italian ice you can yeah. go and get a free a free one. What? On the first day of spring. What? Because Boo. that's when they open. Man, so, yeah, that's, that's what I miss every time. That's sad. Yeah, you did. You definitely did say that last year, and that's also crazy that we we're saying that you said that last year. I know. Because <laughs> we were, we're still doing this. You know, mm-hmm, I don't know. It's mm-hmm. still it's mind blowing. Probably will be forever. So yeah, just every time. <laughs> yeah, sorry about it, but yeah, that's crazy. I've never been to Rita's, but I have had Rita's. But I know it's probably not the same, like store bought. Mm-hmm. Versus, like, going to one, you know? Oh, it's definitely not the same. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> But know. Um, I'm just, like, imagining having one right now. Like, ooh, mm-hmm. a mango. Mm, water stop. ice. So good. Water ice. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it is water ice. <laughs> it's watery ice. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't really have any news. Any updates? Well, I, I do have a little bit of news, actually. Oh, yeah, so, I forgot. Yeah, so over the weekend, um, I was like, okay, well, we didn't do an episode this week, so I might <laughs> as well do something for the podcast. Mm-hmm. So I went and made us a website. Um, oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. Yeah, the little, the URL is, <laughs> it's pretty long. Um, and it's because it's on WordPress. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and um, to change the URL they make you pay so like i'm not gonna do that yeah no i get it i really do (laughs) but someday someday maybe we'll (laughs) we'll change it but it is gonna be linked below um it was very fun to make it's very fun go check it out because yeah it's really cool Mm -hmm. you did a very good job on it thanks Mm -hmm. um we have some pictures on there our trailer some links just some cool stuff so go check it out yes definitely go check it out the link is below Mm-hmm. in the description also we always hide little fun things in the description so go look at them oh yeah definitely. if you have <laughs> our hard work deserves to be looked at so mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> except also though whenever i'm writing the descriptions i'm like well no one's gonna read this anyway <laughs> <laughs> literally word for word every time savannah writes a description nobody's gonna read this anyway <laughs> well prove me wrong then i guess <laughs> true okay well, if you don't have anything, I guess I can get started. Go for it. I'm excited. All right. So this week I have another um, story from England. And this is also from Cornwall. I know I did another one from Cornwall before. I swear. Savannah loves Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't even realize it was from there until like 20 minutes before we started. <laughs> so That's so funny. So anyways, this is Black Anise. Oh, okay. Um, so this is English folklore, um, and it dates back to possibly the 15th century. Mm. Um, and she is a boogeyman. Okay, <laughs> like, we love that. A boogie, boogie woman. woman. Yeah. Yes. Boogie person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so they, they actually were kind of politically correct. Um, <laughs> love that. Because, like... They referred to her as either a boogie woman or boogie person. No way. <laughs> in some of the old text, yeah. <laughs> Wait, when did you say this is from? Um, what time? It goes back to, like, the 15th century. That's crazy. Like, what? Okay, yeah. that's fun. So, yeah, funny words there. But she's 
I honestly, I don't even really know what that means. Just like a creature that's like a person, right? I guess, yeah, like a little know. creature, scary. Yeah. Um, but more to describe her, she has a blue face, um, and she is described as a hag. Mm -hmm. I love a good <laughs> of course, hag. A hag or a witch. Um, and she has iron claws mm, that are like these long talons. So, like, I guess if you're, like, one of those people who get their nails done super long, mm -hmm. <laughs> similar. One of those people. <laughs> you sound like a grandmother. No, listen, I, all right, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that, but I just, I don't know, I can't deal with, like, super long nails, so I'm just, it. like, but I just imagine her with, like, super long nails like that, but they're oh, sure. also um, made of iron, Ooh. so... Like, okay, I have a question. Are the nails, like, is the iron put on or, like, her physical nails are iron? No, they're her, her actual nails. That's crazy. Yeah. See, that's even more... That's scary. Like, badass, yeah. <laughs> like, I guess somebody could recreate it, you know, by that's putting true. it on themselves. But that, that would be just too much. That's gotta be heavy, right? Heavy, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, she has iron claws... <laughs> <laughs> and um she also eats children mm, so. okay there's that yeah there's that <laughs> um and lambs of mm. course yeah because every Tasty. why is every creature has to eat lambs i know it's so know? sad like they're so mm -hmm. cute exactly they must taste good R right i don't I think mean, i've ever eaten lamb yeah i was just gonna say i don't think i have either i i hear it's good though mm -hmm. so mm. yeah um but she haunts the countryside of Leicester, um, which I also saw she was in Cornwall. So I don't know if that's in the same place or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody if knows. you're in Cornwall or Leicester, let us know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, Leicester, the way it's pronounced is does not look like the, the spelling of it. It's I had to look Lester. up how to, yeah, yeah, I had to look up how to pronounce it because it was so not Yikes. English. <laughs> no, it's definitely English. It's not American. <laughs> yeah. I should say that yeah. <laughs> because it's definitely English <laughs> in England. <laughs> um, okay. But Black Annis is also known as Black Agnes or Black Anna, Black Annie, and Cat Anna interesting so she has many names and the cat anna that one was like why why cat you know that's just like a right. random name but i do have a little story of like why people came up with that and it's like a little bit horrible <laughs> as so, they typically are on our show yeah so the cat anna name it's derived from like this this thing that they would do in like the 1760s, so a long time ago, um, they would do this thing every Easter Monday, mm -hmm. um, which was like a mock hare hunt. Mm -hmm. So a hare, like, like a bunny. Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. But they would get a dead cat okay. um, and soak it in anise seed mm -hmm. and then drag it through the streets. Of Lester to the mayor's door. <sighs> and why? I honestly, I don't really know why. <laughs> it's just tradition. It's just tradition. Okay. <laughs> That's it was just really like weird. To mock, like, pretend they were hunting a, a hare, but it was actually a cat. I don't really know. Okay. But I can see how they got the name Anis from that, because, like, Anis Seed. Yeah. And also, I don't know, it somehow relates. And they also started this um, hunt at the, um, like, the place that she lived. Oh, okay. Supposedly. So she, gotcha. I'm going to get to that next now. Um, she lived in a cave in the Dane Hills. Mm. Um, and it has, like, an oak tree entrance. It's so spooky. Um, yeah, honestly. And it's called Black Annis's Bower Close. Okay. Which... <laughs> it has a name. I love that. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, they would start the hair hunt there. Um, the hair hunt. 
Yeah. This is um, so sad. Honestly. And she supposedly so like the reason it was a cave apparently it was just a side of a cliff before but black annis came along and she used her iron claws to do dig out the cave oh okay well i mean that's super that's a time where having iron claws would come in very helpful honestly true like she just like built her little home there that's kind of (laughs) cool yeah um and she would sometimes like hide in the tree outside of her cave (laughs) honestly me in my cave yeah. Also, if you scratched your eye when you had iron nails, would that not cut it? I, yeah. Hmm. It probably would. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe she just has, like, stronger eyes, stronger True. everything else. So she Hopefully. doesn't affect herself. True. I don't know. Um, but, so she would, like, stay in her cave and, like, in that tree during the day and then she would venture out at night to look for children and lambs to eat. <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, and then this is <laughs> this is bad again. Um, so when she would eat them, <laughs> okay, she would, she would take these kids and the lambs or whatever, and then she would take their skin. <laughs> Savannah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And she would, like, just wear their skin. Ew. Like, I guess dry it out into, like, a fabric and then, like, just wear it. (laughs) Bro, that is so disgusting. I know. I have to laugh because I'm just like, I don't even know. Ew. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, Honestly, that would, like, how do people come up with this stuff? Like, why? (laughs) Honestly, though. Honestly. Okay. And honestly, I do have an, a little thing I wrote here. Um, she's basically Cruella DeVille to a whole new level. Okay, you're right about that. It's true, yeah. You're right. Um, and, okay, so to gather her prey, she would go around and, like, reach inside houses mm. to snatch people up. Mm. That's horrifying. Um, and when kids didn't behave, their parents would say that Black Annis was going to come get them, mm-hmm. of course. As they, as they should. Yeah, I feel like that's, like, whatever creature is in the area, that's what it's um, coming to parents get you. say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if there was one in, like, when I was a kid. But, like... Um, okay, so when, so, <laughs> my grandma, listen, okay... Shout out to my grandma, first of all, because we, as we know, if you've been listening to the podcast, you know, she sometimes intervene, her ghost intervenes in my life occasionally. And she used to tell me that a coal woman, so she lived in West Virginia when she was alive. That's where all my family lived. And um, so that's obviously a big coal place, you know, get like coal, coal Mm -hmm. mining from the ground. Mm -hmm. So she said that there was like a ghost of a coal woman. And she said that if me and my brother didn't behave, the coal woman would get us. And that always scared me because I was like, is she serious? Like, is there a coal woman? So, listen, I don't know. But all I'm telling you is I was afraid. I didn't want to meet the coal woman, so I behaved. That's what I'm saying. Like, (laughs) that's probably what happened here, too. They were like, oh, Black Black Anna is going to get us. She's going to get you with her iron claws. Yeah, I don't want her iron claws anywhere near me. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, where, where was I at? (laughs) Um, She likes to pluck little kids out of their homes. Yes, exactly. So, when the sheep were lost, shepherds would blame it on her hunger. Of course. Um, of course. And then, you could know that she was close and, like, on her way to come get you because you could hear her grinding her teeth. Oh, okay. I really don't like that. Yeah. Um... And I also imagine her to be, like, really big. Like, I don't think I saw anywhere that said that she was. But, like, to pluck you out of yeah. the window. Like, I she's got to be huge, right? Yeah. I would assume she's huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is just even more um, scary. On top of everything I, I, else that's already scary. Right. Um, so, you could hear her, like, grinding her teeth. So, you would have time to lock your doors and, like, keep away from the windows. Mm, okay. Um... And also, the fact that, like, back in the day, like, there was no glass to (laughs) keep, like, for the windows. Oh. So. I didn't even think about that. They were just wide open. 
that's See, horrifying yeah so you would have to just like keep away from them um but they would put up protective herbs to keep her away such as what <laughs> You know, I didn't really get the specifics there. See, I'm <laughs> trying like to protect myself sort of from her. I mean, you have a window, though. You can just close it. Okay, you're right. Yeah. But what if, I'm, um, what if I want to leave it open? Well, you're going to get snatched up. I'm going to get snatched. <laughs> um, and she also howls. <laughs> so okay. you can hear her for about five miles away mm. with the, the teeth grinding and the howling. Ew. So you're like, okay, she's five miles away. I got time. So like, <laughs> I have to run and lock my doors. Yeah, exactly. Um, and t- 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 so there's actually, supposedly, there's a tunnel that goes from Black Annis's Bower um, to Leicester Castle, oh. um, which, you know don't really know much about that but i'm <laughs> i think the king mm-hmm. was there okay. at one point um mm-hmm. and she supposedly haunts the tunnel and the castle oh. as well as her own cave oh okay she's busy as a ghost yeah exactly can i also um, just say before you move on that all of those names you said black anise boar or something bower and then <laughs> yeah, lesser castle bower. like are we in mario Honestly, I've been playing a lot of Mario on my Switch, and all that just sounded to me like m- the Mario world. Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. <laughs> just had to throw that in there. Mm-hmm. Um, t- 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 yeah, she haunt. Well, they, they say she haunts it, but, like, I don't think she's, like, a ghost haunting. She just, like, you know, you can... I feel like you... I think you can still haunt things when you're still alive in a different way. Okay. You know, you just, like, hang out there. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, that's yeah. what that means. Yeah. I get it. So I just wanted to clear that up. But um, there's also, um, oh, I do have a, a possible origin story of mm-hmm. Black Annis. Um, so we have that story about the the hair mm-hmm. and everything. But that, that just had to do with, like, the cat Anna, whatever. Um, and then there are different versions of, like, the actual true origin of her. Um, but here's one of them. So there was a woman who foretold the death of Richard the Third, um, who was the king. Ooh. So he was going to battle, uh, the Battle of Badsworth, and he went to Leicester's Bow Bridge, um, and he hit his foot on a stone, like on the bridge. Um, and this witch, like this, this woman, woman slash witch, slash, slash witch. Mm -hmm. She's like both. I don't really know. Um, I think they're just calling her a witch because she was a woman. Like, yeah. And that, and she like predicted something. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah. Um, she said where his spur struck, his head would be broken. Oh, so, okay, let so me like just explain So, like, where he hit again. the rock on the bridge. Yes. So, on his way to the battle, he hit his, um, he hit his foot on a stone on the bridge. Mm-hmm. So, this, this lady, she was like, well, where his foot hit... It's um, where his head is going to be hitting. Yes. He's going to hit his head and die. hmm So, when he traveled back over the bridge on his way back, he actually did hit the stone. What? How? But, but... He had already been dead from the battle. Interesting. Well, I mean, she was still right, though. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, and she said that she received this knowledge from God. Mm-hmm. I mean, I believe it. <laughs> um, specifically, a goddess. Um, the goddess Domnu. Okay. Never heard of her um, before. Yeah, I hadn't either. She was a Celtic goddess um, from Cornwall. <laughs> which is where I got Cornwall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and she was a goddess of, like, the deep earth and, like, Ooh. I'm guessing the underworld. Okay. Um, and so she supposedly got this knowledge from Domino, and she asked for a sacrifice in return for this vision. Oh. Um, but she said no because she's like, I'm a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I'm not going to give you a sacrifice. <laughs> Um, so then Dom knew she got mad because she's like, well, 
I wanted a sacrifice. Yeah. Like, come on. Um, Obviously. So she turned her into Black Annis. Oh. And, like, made her want to eat children. Okay. I mean, that tracks, you know? Yeah. But it's, like, it seems, like, really dramatic for nothing, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it definitely does. It's, like, she's, like, but I just told demons, you. like, make sense. No, no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I mean, she was a goddess, but also... Of the underworld. Yeah. <laughs> also known as the devil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, I don't know. She basically, like, gave her a vision of how the king was gonna die, and she's like, okay, well, do something for me now. It's like, well, I didn't even ask you for this in the first Honestly, place. Honestly, right. That's really not her place. yeah. So now that just makes you feel bad for Black Annis. Mm-hmm. It's like she didn't ask for this. She didn't. Um, yeah. Uh, so I do have a little story um, of some children who were who had a run in with her. Mm. So in 1941, supposedly, uh, there were three children sent out by their wicked stepmother um, to go get some firewood. And it started to get dark out, and they were worried that Black Annis was going to come get them. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's getting Obviously. dark. Yeah. She's, 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 coming, she's out. coming out. She's coming to pluck the kids from the homes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but apparently daylight turned her into stone. Mm-hmm. Okay, Medusa. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, not. <laughs> yeah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit related. Um, so... They started to get scared because they're like, okay, she's going to turn back into, like, a person, not stone anymore. Um, And then they actually heard her coming. Mm -hmm. They They heard heard her her grinding her her teeth. teeth, Uh, So they end up running home and dropping all their sticks. And they told, they got home and told their parents that Black Annis was, like, on their way. And they, like, fully believed them. So their dad got an axe and hit black annis with an axe in the face what yeah and apparently she like tried to run back to her her cave and then died on the way like like from the axe wound yeah oh wow but like i don't know if i believe that one because it's like this lady is so tough she's just gonna die from that i mean listen she has iron nails i think she can withstand an axe yeah. Like an axe to the face. She's also though. a witch. I don't know. Hmm. Like, maybe if she wasn't expecting it, maybe not. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, so apparently that's that's how she died. But I don't know. Maybe maybe these people were just telling this story to, to seem Sounds, tough. Yeah. They're like, my dad, he killed her. Yeah, he killed Black Annis. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that, to be honest. I need the proof. Right. <laughs> Honestly, true. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. I do have, I have, like, another little fun fact about her. Black Annis is also a DK, DC Comics character. Interesting. Yeah, I I didn't realize that. I was like, oh, she's, like, a superhero? No, or... I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, is she a villain or a hero? So, I don't really know much about DC Mm-hmm. comics people um do you i mean i know the basic people <laughs> i okay. don't know well like... you might you might know this story you might not so apparently she is one of the altars of k chalice yeah no i have no idea who that is okay <laughs> somebody out there does um oh i'm sure i hope i'm saying that right uh K is apparently part of the Doom Patrol. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have you heard of that? Yeah, I think I have, actually. It sounds funny to me. It's like Doom Patrol. I mean, yeah. Um, And she is a metahuman. Okay, yeah. I know what a metahuman is. Okay. Have you um, not seen The Flash? No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> well, I know okay. I, I know I need to. That's crazy. Anyways. Um, yeah, but apparently... Uh, K developed dissociative identity disorder mm. after abuse from her father, and like each altar has special powers, and she has a black anus altar. 
okay, that's a really, that's a cool character. Yeah. I know, it makes me want to, like, get into it, because it's like, whoa. Right. Um, but her, this altar has, like, an enhanced sense of smell. Mm. I don't know if the regular Black Annis has that power, but, to like, smell that's... smell them kids. Yeah, like, that probably is true. She probably can just smell all the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's, that's sort of the end of what I have here, but. That's crazy. I have never heard of her before, honestly. Like, yeah, not at all. I was looking for, like, ones from England, because I was like, oh, I want to go back over there and check yeah. some stuff out. Um, but yeah, that, that seemed to be a really popular one. Yeah, that's, so. that's cool. That's a cool story. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I like her. I mean, I don't like her because, you know, she eats kids. But, like. <laughs> right. Exactly. Other than that, she seems pretty chill. <laughs> I mean, I girl, mean, I, don't, I don't really like kids either. So. Okay. I like <laughs> um, her, like, origin story of, like, how she was just, like, a normal woman or, like, a witch. Yeah. I mean, she definitely wasn't, like, a real witch, I felt like, you know. Like, they just yeah. called her that. Right. Like, I feel like everybody was called a witch. Oh, 100% we would be witches if it were, if it was that time period. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> we're just talking about this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Crazy. Well, I guess one similarity between our stories is that they're both outside of the United States this week, which Ooh, is not okay, very normal okay. for us. But, um. You don't have a, you don't have a boogie woman? I don't have a boogie about? woman. I don't, and actually, you know, No. It's very different this week. So. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm ready. For my story, we are taking it to Cape Town, South Africa. Oh. Okay. I was like, you know what? We don't have any African stories. And I saw we got some listeners in Africa. So I was like, all right, shout out to you. Let's do an African story. So. Yeah, that's cool. I found this one. And actually, listen, I know every time we do a ghost story, we're like, this is like the most haunted whatever. Mm -hmm. This is said to be one of the most haunted castles um, in the world, like genuinely. Oh. And after I tell you about the stuff that went on here, you're not even going to believe it because it really is crazy. And I would love to go here. So hmm. let's we just really, get into it. We really it. just have a huge list of places we want to go 100%. Visit. That's all this podcast is, is just reasons why or why not we want to or not go to certain places. But exactly. I would say like I've only ever said I didn't want to go like five times. Yeah. So. No, true. <laughs> that's like crazy. I mean, that, that could be good or bad. Like, are we smart for that? Or, like... <laughs> right. Maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I have for you the legend of the Castle of Good Hope. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, okay. okay. So, in all seriousness, this castle was built in the 17th century. So, you know, we're going to start it out already. The This building began being built can you guess the year i'll tell you 1666 um, oh okay oh my god 1666 mm-hmm. so like that is also like during like the witch times and you know all such things 1666 i just feel like that's already unlucky so mm-hmm. yeah there's that so this castle was used as a replenishment station for ships that were like passing through the coast around the cape along like Typically, this people, it's like a really good stopping point, basically, for people who are traveling between the Netherlands and Indonesia. So, okay. it was like popping, um, a popping place, especially like in this time. And also at this time, um, tensions between Great Britain and the Netherlands were like apparently rising. And so, like, this led to war. So, once this war started, um, the castle was then kind of like transformed into like a fort and a hideout for the military. Mm, so like, okay. yeah. So a bunch of people have died here just simply because this huge war that was going on. Yeah. And so I feel like a lot of a lot of buildings like that will get sacrificed to war. One hundred percent. Yeah. Like any any good like especially like a huge castle like this one like mm-hmm. you need a lot of space, tall places. And like, yeah, probably, like, lookout points. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, over the years, it's been used for many different reasons. So, not just for war. It's, you know, so many things. So, um, I'm going to tell you right now, it's very haunted. Very, very haunted. Um, mm-hmm. And also, fun fact, um, the Castle of Good Hope is South Africa's oldest building. 
Oh. That's still standing, obviously. So. Huh. Uh, yeah, that's creepy. Spooky. Yeah. It's um, cool, though. I love old buildings. Me too, but they're scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Especially this one. Um, so, anyway, during the war, um, they, like, physically built a stronger, like, fortress around the castle. You know, they're trying to keep up and, you know, keep security tight, I guess, is right. the word you could say. Um, so actually most of the work that was done, like building up the fortress and stuff, it was done by soldiers and sailors who had passed through. So like oh. people that just like weren't living there and just people who were just passing through. Hmm. Throw on a stone or two, which I think is cool too. Yeah, that's cool. And then that means that so many other people have done it than, exactly, you exactly. know, like just, than just like a set amount of people. Yeah. Like so uh-huh. many hands. So many yeah. hands have yeah, exactly. put time into the castle. Um, so over time, due to, like, obviously the castle being in the middle of this huge war and military drama, um, many prisoners were actually held there. And a se- there's a section of this castle that is n- referred to as Donker Cat, oh, which I'm okay. positive is not, like, how you actually say it, but it means it translates to Dark Hole. So okay. that's really good. Um, as you can imagine, this is a very dark room, a dungeon, if you will. Um, and in the winter, wait, I just skipped so many things. So it's a dungeon, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. It's a dungeon. It has no windows, and it was used as a torture chamber for the prisoners. Oh, well, so, Black Annis couldn't get in, so. And, oh, because she, there's no windows? <laughs> yeah, But exactly. there are doors, so. Oh, well. she she could technically still find a way in. Yeah, you just have to. Luckily, shut though, for at least these people, they were mostly adults. So like, she's like, eh, I don't want. Yeah, to, I don't have the go. taste for these people. Uh-huh. So you know, at least in the Black Anna sense, they were safe. Um, but tragically, they were not safe <laughs> at all yeah. because the prisoners. This is very dark. <laughs> Okay, I'm not meaning to laugh at this. This is very dark. I know. I feel like we just laugh at all the dark things, but it's just, I can't help it. Because what else am I supposed to do? It's dark. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So. You gotta lighten it a little bit. Exactly. So in this dark hole in the winter, um, it was recorded that because the castle is located so close to the sea, specifically in the winter, this would happen, the dungeon would rapidly fill with water and any prisoners who were chained to the walls at the time that the dungeon filled up drowned oh no so many people have died there obviously not even counting like the people who were killed in the war like Mm -hmm. even just prisoners killed there and they knew it flooded and they didn't care so yeah even even more messed up Mm -hmm. so what's really wild is that there are a lot of things like still to this day and like still me speaking right now that are unknown about this building it's huge, okay? And it's similar to the Winchester Mystery House, like, where we're still discovering rooms, like, today. Secret rooms. Oh, it, that sounds similar to that, actually. Yeah. Because you were saying they, like, people kept yes. adding to it. Yes. So it's, like, the, it's yeah, It's similar, similar, except for people really haven't added to this building in a long time, and they're still finding yeah. rooms, which is really yeah. crazy. So... More recent renovations on the castle have actually uncovered bricked up rooms and architects believe that there are many, many more rooms that are sealed and hidden. So that's super mysterious because I'm like, girl, you don't even know what could still be in there. Also, maybe we should just leave it. (laughs) No, right. Exactly. (laughs) Because I don't know, you know, that's I don't really want to test the waters that much. Um, Don't want to unlock any ancient curse or anything. Um, the world does not need that at this point. <laughs> yeah, we don't need any more curses Absol- or anything. Like, I, I swear somebody probably did let out a curse a few oh, years ago. I totally believe it. Yeah. Somebody opened Pandora's <laughs> box is what they really did. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, back to the unopened rooms. They still remain unopened, unfound, and need to be searched fully. So, hopefully, maybe one day I'll have an update. I don't know, because people are working, like, in it, so... Who knows? Anyways, moving on to what we're really here to talk about, the ghost. (laughs) Yes. So, obviously, due to the extensive history and a lot of death on the grounds, we know there's going to be ghosts. Um, And as I said, it is known as the most haunted castle in the world. So, uh, yeah, that's crazy. 
the first ghost that I'm going to talk to you about, this name is very funny. His name is General Peter Geisbert Van Noot. Oh, so from okay. here on out, he will be known as Van Noot. Yeah, <laughs> that's better than but saying it's like the whole spelled name. spelled like N O O D T. So all I see is like nude, like a noodle. Oh, that's uh-huh. all I'm thinking about. So, I thought you were saying newt, like with a W. Newt. It's so okay. hard. Yeah, see, like, it kind of basically is the same yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter, a.k.a. Van Newt, um, worked at the castle in the 18th century. And in April of 1729, he was responsible for sentencing seven soldiers to death at the gallows at the castle. Which, you know, normal for him. Just like every other day. Sending mm-hmm. people to die. So, according to him, their crime was desertion. But according to the council at this time, apparently they literally said this is unjust and an illegal condemnation. And so that he was not supposed to hang them. But um, he actually decided that he was going to overturn the council's decision and decided to give them a harsher punishment of hanging. So, like, they were oh never God. supposed to be hung. Like, desertion, that just sounds like they're trying to leave. Yeah. Um, And so, like, the the punishment was, like, go be locked in the dark hole for a little bit. But instead, he was like, you're getting hung. Huh. So, um, when it was their turn to be hanged, one of the soldiers demanded that Van Noot come watch the hangings. He was like, okay, fine, if you're going to kill me, that's fine. But you have to watch me die, basically. Okay. And so um, Van Noot was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not going to. I, you don't tell me what to do. So when he did not come to the hanging, the soldier was like, fine. So he used his final words to curse Van Noot, <gasps> declaring that one day he would face divine justice. Oh. So that's a big old yikes for Van Noot. He should have he not been like that because strangely enough, Van Noot was found dead in his chair, slumped over his desk that same exact day. <gasps> the same day? The same day. Oh, my God. The same day. Yep. So That's crazy. And allegedly, when they found his body in his office, his face had a very vivid look of shock on it. So <gasps> that doesn't seem like a coincidence to me. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. So... Um, since this occurrence, there have been many reports of many sightings over the years of Van Noot wandering the castle halls, always cursing aloud. So, like, apparently you can hear, like, people just cussing in the castle huh. and nobody's talking. That's apparently Van Noot. He's mad still. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, Because he probably, like, just knows what happened to him. Exactly. Too. Like, I bet he died and then, like that person's ghost Mm -hmm. um was right there yep and they're probably still all there Mm because there's tons of ghosts here um yeah yeah so then so that's why he's like cursing everyone because he's like i know exactly what happened to me exactly you guys i can't believe this happened (laughs) exactly and honestly he's like i still have to live this every i have to live the same life every single day no yeah that's like i'm stuck here basically Mm -hmm. so like yeah i mean (laughs) I mean, that's what he gets, though. True. What you get for being mean, Van Noot. So, Van Noot's ghost has also been seen in a nearby house that's believed to be connected to the castle via secret underground passageway. <gasps> which is oh crazy. God. I know. So, this house is called the Rustin Vugd House. Probably didn't say it right, but that's my best okay. shot. So, yeah, he's been seen in both places. So... That's cool. Also, I think it's very cool that there's a secret tunnel. Yeah. Very cool. Um, That's just like the tunnel that I was talking about. True. There we go. Connection. The similarities. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, moving on to another commonly seen ghost. A woman named Lady Anne Bernard. Sounds so sophisticated, if you ask me. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, she lived in the castle for five years, beginning in 1797. And she's said to be a very relatively harmless ghost and really only likes to join the parties and functions thrown in the castle. So this mm. lady, she just really likes to party. 
Yeah, Which that would I'm be like, me. I love Lady Anne Bernard. She's cool. Right. <laughs> um, when she was alive, she was the wife of the castle's colonial secretary. So, you know, very fancy, just as I mm-hmm. presumed. Um, so she actually hosted many events. And some believe that that's just like she's just continuing to do her work like in the afterlife because she's often seen in the places like that she worked at. Oh, that's Which is fun. cute because I'm like, she just loved her job, girlfriend. Yeah. Like, cute. Also, very, very, very fun fact. She's often seen wearing her best ball gowns from her era, which I love. I'm like, okay, okay, Lady Anne Bernard. Mm -hmm. It's not your stuff. Um, I know. I love, like, those, like, fancy ball gowns and everything. Like, I want an excuse to wear one. I know, like the Bridgerton dresses. Yes, yes. I need those vibes. We tend to go see our girl, Lady Anne Bernard. Yeah. (laughs) Um... (laughs) Also, apparently, when she was alive, she liked to bathe in what was known as the dolphin pool, which has oh. recently been found and restored. Only recently has that pool been found. So she's said to be in the pool way more often, especially recently. Hmm. So also, like, maybe it's even possible we don't even know all of the ghosts in this mansion because it's so big and, like, we haven't oh, even yeah. discovered all the rooms. What if we haven't some, discovered all the ghosts? Yeah, some of them are probably trapped Exactly. Or um, another really, really, really fun fact about Lady Anne Bernard. Um, she would spend her free time bathing in and around this pool completely naked. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, she was straight vibing, living mm-hmm. her dream life at this huge castle. So, yeah, she's absolutely chilling. I would love, I would have no issue seeing the ghost of Lady Anne Bernard. <laughs> Not me either. In like, fact, I... I would love to meet her. She sounds amazing. Same. <laughs> like, that sounds like a great time. Just, like, bathing all day. Right. <laughs> just, like, Chilling by the out. pool. Going to the parties. Girl, that sounds so fun. Exactly. Um. So, obviously, many ghosts have been spotted here over the years. But there's one ghost, in my opinion, more important than the rest. Because it's not a regular ghost. It's a ghost dog. <gasps> ghost dog! Yes. We love a ghost dog. Um... So, this ghost dog is a black dog, and it reportedly patrols the castle grounds. Right? Aww. Isn't that so cute? And, like, there's not, like, a name for it, but I'm just like, that's so sweet. Like, you can just see, like, people just say, like, hey, I saw the dog, and they're like, oh, that's the ghost dog. Mm-hmm. There's not a dog here. <laughs> like, we don't have a dog anymore. What type of dog is it? I don't know. They just said it's, it, people just said it's black, like a big black dog. Okay. So, I'm Aww. like, oh. <laughs> Probably like a lab or something, you know. Yeah. Something Does he have say. a name? No, I couldn't find his name. Oh, I know. We gotta give him a name. Let's um, name him Buster. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Shout out to Buster. Mm-hmm. Um, moving along from Buster though. Other than like people just seeing him around, like the like outside of the castle, like people don't really have stories from him. So, anyways, um. Moving along, late one night, okay, now this is a true story, and it's coming from the guards who work here, like, recently. So, Mm -hmm. late one night, but really, really, like, early in the morning, you know, Mm -hmm. like, 3 a.m. We'll just give that time. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Um, A few guards were patrolling the castle when one of them heard screams for help coming from the dungeon. Oh, no. Okay, from the dark hole. And so, they obviously, like, run to it and... To go see what's up. And the guards found the room completely empty. But they said when they walked into the dungeon. They felt like a distinct presence. And suddenly like an icy chill. Like boom bam. Like it, as if somebody was standing there. But he was like oh. nobody was standing there. So actually a majority of the guards. Especially those on night shift. Refused to patrol past the dungeon. The dark hole <laughs> room. Um, They described the feeling of. Just, like, literally as if the dark hole dungeon is, like, a vacuum sucking, the, trying to suck them in, is what they say. As oh, if it's, like, some wait, sort of, what? like, a dark hole. Like, it's, like, trying to get them, is what they say. So, like, people, the people who work on the night shift, they're like, no. We'll go check everywhere, but we're not checking the dungeon. Because they don't even want to go near it. That sounds terrifying. That's horrifying. I know. I, know. I, even do. I know, because, like, these are, like, real security guards, and they're like, absolutely not. So mm-hmm. I'm like, mm, okay, maybe I wouldn't want to mess with that, you know? Yeah, probably um, not. <laughs> So 
one really strange reporting actually came from it came in from the year 1952 and so it was a couple actually who were given special permission to stay the night in the castle like during this festival that was going on at the time and in the middle of the night they were woken up from their sleep by a lance corporal who was like rushing around calling for so like calling for his soldiers to wake up so the couple is obviously very confused just like awoken out of their sleep talking about get up soldiers like i would be like oh what so they are like asking what's going on and the guy was like he said the bus drivers and conductors were in the streets rioting and that they all needed to hurry and get up what (laughs) that's what he said okay so they were like um okay so they get up and they run outside and there was absolutely nobody there and when they went back in there was absolutely nobody there okay like as if there was never anybody there Huh. And in my mind, I'm just like, wow, that's like history, like repeating itself. Because, you know, there are different types of ghosts, or at least what some people can assume. Like sometimes it's just like the blueprint of what happened, you know, like in history, like as if like the ghost isn't really there, but it's just like reliving one moment. So I'm like, what if yeah. that corporal like is just stuck on a loop almost, you know, like of him like dying? Because I'm assuming like that's when like the war was mm-hmm. and he's like, they're invading, like we got to go. Okay, see, you could look at it that way, like that ghost is in a loop, or what if the people were sucked back in time, oh. but just in that place, and then when they get out, got outside, they would, like, were back in their own time. Okay, true. Who knows how time travel works? It's not me, so that's possible. I don't know if it's, like, time travel, but, like, I have heard before that, like, time is all happening at once, and, like, you can cross yeah. over to a different dimension not dimension but no i get what you're saying i don't know it's all happening at once but like you can't always see it all yeah but sometimes you can see it and that could be an explanation for ghosts and stuff that's too. true that's true or it also could just be another dimension you know yeah there's many know. possibilities i don't know but that but exactly regardless like that's crazy like yeah stuff like that is just wild to me i kind of want that to happen to me. i know i, I like, was just gonna say like i wouldn't mind it happening to me either because like i like experiencing that like i would be like okay that's really like it would be hard to dismiss if mm-hmm. i experienced it yeah exactly yeah so um the couple ended up staying there for the night and in the morning they like asked the staff about it and they were like we have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> they're like we've never heard of that so they're like it's probably just one of the m- millions of ghosts around here get used to it (laughs) wow um so this one's this one's very dark but it is very interesting as well so there's another ghost um to have been seen by many guests and but he's not seen as a full-bodied apparition he really is seen as two floating legs and this is because it was a soldier who actually hung himself in the bell (gasps) tower 300 years ago Oh, no. So, that's honestly just dramatic. Like, seeing... First of all, you're seeing ghost legs. But also to know the reason of why you're only seeing the legs, it's just even worse. Okay, but I was going to say something that was, like, so much more pure before you mentioned (laughs) how he died. I'm sorry. Do you know that Disney movie of... um, I forget what the movie's called now... It was like a, a Pixar movie where the two brothers, they were bringing their dad back to life and they only got his legs. Oh, yeah. Onward. Yes. I love Onward. that movie. That just reminded me that's, of that. Cause okay, yeah. That's, it was ghost legs. It was ghost legs, yeah. So. That's. But. Yeah, tragic. Yeah, it's more, tragic more that tragic. it's not. But if yeah. you haven't seen Onward, honestly, not sponsored, but go watch it because it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Honestly, that look at Pixar, Savannah right? for once. I think so. Look at Savannah knowing a movie for once, guys. <laughs> Round of applause. Kids movie. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so the last ghost story I have for you. There's many more, but like honestly, we would be here forever if I, you know, didn't wrap it up at some point. Right. So, um, obviously today, like there, this um, castle is super popular, like tourist attraction. You, it's a museum, so you can, like, go, you know, and there's even ghost tours, like, you can take at night. So you can easily go. So 
there is a tour guide leader who works there. Her name is Ashley France, and she's also a guard of the castle. And this was back in the 1990s, so I don't know if she works there now, but who knows. So um, it is said that she was doing her first ghost shift, which is what they call the overnight shift there, okay. which I'm like, LOL. Yeah, because you're gonna like, see ghost <laughs> do they do that on purpose oh they don't they literally night? say they do it because you're they're like you're gonna see ghosts like oh get ready to see ghosts well yeah there you so, go so okay you know that's fun so ashley said it was pitch completely pitch black dark okay and like she was just not expecting it first of all to be that dark and so she was making her rounds around the castle and she um began walking in the hallway to go to the donker cat dungeon the dark hole dungeon and a strange feeling came over her as she was walking closer to the dungeon okay and then she just like looks up because you know like i mean especially me i walk like looking at my feet you know so Mm -hmm. i'm assuming she was doing the same thing and she just like looks up like into the dungeon and she said she saw someone waving back at her in the darkness and she could like only see like a silhouette and like a hand waving to her oh no uh yeah so she obviously did go back to work there, but she was like that absolutely freaked her out, and she did not return back to the dungeon at night ever again. So, um, yeah, I would not either. Um, I would. No. I might quit after that. One. I yeah, I would probably just refuse to be there at night. Period. So, mm-hmm. basically, I think it's safe to say this place is very haunted. Um, yeah. So, basically, I want to go to Africa, South Africa, and I want to go here. Yeah, that would, I mean, that would be fun. Because, like, they really say, like, every single person will get a ghostly experience, which I feel like that's crazy to say, but I really mm-hmm. do believe them. Like, I really yeah. do. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I really want to go. But, yeah, that I just is go. the legend of the Good Hope, the Castle of Good Hope. Oh. See, know. and I, I already forgot, I, I forgot that it was called the Castle of Good, of Good Hope, Hope, too. I know. And it's just like. I know. That name. It's like, girl. There are so many people have died here. <laughs> like. Right. And it is called that because the town is called that. Yeah. So. I, mean, I didn't look up where the town name originated from. But. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But even the history. The history alone is really cool. It's true. Yeah. yeah it's so true. Even it's without the ghosts. It is and stuff. I know. It's crazy. Crazy. But definitely go look at our Instagram for pictures. Of this place and of Black Annis. Yes. <laughs> her and her long nails. Yes, I cannot wait to see some depictions of her nails. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I have what's in my mind, perfect. but I just feel like it's not really, it's not what it's going to look like. Some of the pictures I found um, are, like, kind of scary. Ooh, like, oh, as she should be. She's yeah. a child eater. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but definitely check all that out and check out our our website yes definitely um if you have wordpress i don't know how popular that is but um i think you can follow us on there hey shout or out. like like our page or something i don't know True. um and i believe every episode will get uploaded as a post on there so Ooh, you, nice. you won't miss anything if you uh keep visiting that page so fancy Yes, definitely go check that out. And also, if you're bored, you can always leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Yes. yes. Please and thank you. But um, that's really all I have for you this week. What about yeah, you? I think that's it. All right. Well, see you next week. All right. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs>